I like this. Hey, it's Rox. I'm here with another video. As you can see, it's wash day, and I don't want to do the regular, um, you know, straighten like I always do, like you've seen in previous videos. I'm gonna link it. Um, today, we're gonna do some butterfly locks. I'm using the Nala Tress, and these are crochet locks. This is my first time doing this, so you guys are gonna be on this journey with me. So let's see how it turns out. Keep watching the Janet Collection. And this is a color 1B. I bought the value pack, which comes uh, 10 inches, 12 inches, and 14 inches. So this is how it looks. It has like the hook here, and then it's already the lock. So I really don't even have to do anything. There we go, my shine and jam. Some Argan hair oil. All right, y'all, so I had to come offline and braid everything down. So this is how they look. And these guys are ready to go. They're already in a bob. They're 10, 12, and 14. So this is gonna be interesting. They're really thick too. So let's see if I can get my braids into these guys. So yeah, let's do this. <laughs> I'm gonna look in the mirror in front of me, so I won't be facing you guys, but I'm gonna hook it in here, pull it through, and then I'm going to put both the braid and the crochet. So let me do one this first, because this is the more difficult one. So pull this through, and then pull my braid through. Okay, see the... Like in the middle of the crochet. And we could get it from the end, that's fine. This is a little one, so this should be a lot easier than the ones that I've done previously. Hey guys, what's up? It's Rox again. So this is part two. A little bit of progress, but uh, let me just turn for you guys so you can see everything. Uh, so my hair is a little bit longer than these. So these are 14, 12, and 10 inches. So I can get like a little bob, um, but it looks like I'm unable to go any shorter than this. So what I'm gonna do is what I'm doing is folding the braid inside the crochet. So I'm gonna do a few so you guys can see. So if you buy crochet hair or locks that are too short for your natural hair, this is the method that I use um, when I'm doing my hair. Well, that I had to use. So uh, keep watching and make sure you guys subscribe. Click the link down below. And I'm gonna be um, putting links in for all of the shirts I'm wearing. This is from my girl KG. The other one was from Melanin Money. Um, so if you want these shirts, um, I'm gonna put the links down below so you can purchase those things.
so here's the finished look so this took me from start to finish it took me a little bit longer than I expected um, the hardest part was obviously doing the plaits in the beginning I didn't want to do the braids where it um you know made it a little bit more bulky I wanted to do individuals so that's why it took me a little bit longer but it looks a lot more natural and you know it's hopefully it'll last me a little bit longer so I prefer this way you can wear it like up um, I have that you could wear it down at least let me take this out so I can show you but I was able to I'm able to kind of do with a little bit more styles and like I have a little bit more free range with the, um, the individuals and yeah, I just like it. It's nice and light. Um, I actually used that three pack that I had. I used all but two that I actually chopped up when I was trying to figure out how to do it. So it's, I got lucky. It was medium all around the board. Um, I really like this style. If you guys enjoyed this video, this tutorial, I know it was a struggle for both of us. But <laughs> hit that like, that subscribe. Let me know what you thought of the video. See ya. Oh. Chilling, uh, good vibes, quick styles.